Uh, today, we were working on penguin dwelling, something that we've done for a couple of years now. And what this project is, is it helps students kind of get better understanding of heat transfer. So, uh, for instance, radiation from the sun and how to design against that. They're tasked with protecting an ice cube penguin. We use specialized trays to make a little ice cube for them. And they have to design this structure with heat transfer in mind to prevent the ice cube penguin from melting. The group with the most penguin wins. Uh, before before they began the project, we had a lab day where they are kind of familiarized with different materials and the ideas of insulators versus conductors. Uh, so for instance, they worked with plastics, with metals. Uh, they used an example of a home under heat lamps to see how convection currents work. So the bottom of the house was at a cooler temperature than the top of the house. And they used all of these principles in their design to reflect those um, ideas and to create a better understanding of what's going on. You have to build an igloo that you think will withstand 20 minutes inside of a tote with tin foil around it with really hot bright lights on it. And if there's a little penguin inside of here, it's an ice cube penguin, and you have to try to make the penguin keep or not melt in 20 minutes and if you take it out and it is not melted, then we're gonna measure how m much the ice cube has in like mass and stuff, and the best wins. It's helpful for if you get into the construction industry or the energy industry, and for construction, you're gonna want to make the building, make it cool, do all the technology. We've done this for about two years now, and so what we're seeing with the designs is they're becoming more and more specialized, which is great. Uh, the kids are kind of using each other's resources more, and they're getting a little bit more creative. So for instance, one of the common design elements I'm seeing this year is almost a straw pipe to act as a heat escape. And so that's been something new, and when you see a cool kind of new thing introduced, you all automatically see a lot of groups trying to test out that same idea. Idea as well. Uh, we see some classics like bubble wrap or using tin foil or aluminum foil as a reflector and that works really well too. The nice thing about this project, it lasts about a week and the students are allowed to test and retest and kind of tweak their design using what they've found. So for instance today we masked some of these ice cubes and the winning person had 75% remaining, uh, we had 60% and we had a 50% and those particular groups are going back to the design board to see what they can do to make it better before our final competition.